the new channel. The new channel. Hashtag TNC now. The views, opinions, and insights expressed in the following shows are those of the host, producers, guests, and viewers. They do not necessarily reflect the position of the channel. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome to the new channel. Our passion transforms a community that sees all things new. I am Reina Borromeo Calayo and I'm streaming live from your from Metro Manila. Good morning, afternoon, or evening to all of you anywhere in this world. Welcome to Grow with the Flow here on TNC. Hello and welcome back again to uh, Grow with the Flow, your show here in TNC, the new channel. And of course, I would like to welcome you all no, for this very, I can say, uh, exciting episode with these two young urban professionals. I would like to meet uh, you, I would like to introduce to you Jerson Rantugan and Dennis Arado. Hello, Jerson and Dennis. Welcome to the show. Hi, hello. Hello, hello Rain. Hello, Miss Rain. Yes, yes, ang takas ng energy. Ah. I love the energy. <laughs> and you are uh, actually live streaming from Antipola City, right? Yes, yes. Now, kumusta naman ang panahon dyan sa Antipola City? <laughs> uh, gloomy, gloomy. Yeah. Pero laban lang at uh, medyo... Kaya naman gumalaw sa mga paligid. Okay, yeah. So, for the viewers uh, who are tuned in and watching our show, ito pong dalawang to, they are really very special to me in a sense that they really, uh, I can say, uh, they amaze me every time that I see them really working hard. No, So, uh, the, the episode for this afternoon is all about sense of purpose. No? And these two millennials, when you say millennials, these are the people belonging in the generation of 40 and below, between 25, I think, if I, may, if I still recall the generation uh, range no, of the millennials. So I would like to uh, give you the floor, Dennis and Cherison, to help the uh, viewers, especially those na, with the same age as you, no? uh, because what you are doing now uh, is really different from the traditional or the uh, what you can say the stereotype when it comes to you know working and having a career. So, can you give us a short background on how did you start it in your respective careers? Let me start with Jerson. Ayan. So, thank you so much for having me uh, on your episode, Miss Rain. So by the way, uh, with regards to my career background, um, I graduated in college last uh, 2016, and then I'm trying to look for 
a job na sa tingin ko fit sa akin. But I ended up na nag-start ako mag-work sa isang uh, um, supermarket setting. And then, um, mm-hmm. four years ako nag-work sa isang uh, supermarket. And then, I shift to uh, construction company. And then, right after construction company, eto na, eto na yung job ko kung saan ako ngayon. And dito sa isang financial services. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, as I can see, no, from uh, the uh, fast-moving consumer goods industry as a human resource, so it means a, a lot na you are really into the side of people, no, Take, taking care of the human resources, and now shifting to uh, financial services industry. But we will talk more about that later. So, how about si Ash naman? Ash, can you walk us through sa iyong career background? Yeah, sure. Ayan. Um, good afternoon, everyone, and good morning, and good evening, ayan, sa, iba, sa iba't ibang lugar. So, by the way, my name is Dennis Arado, but for short, you can call me Ash, kasi para alam mo yun, mas humble. <laughs> and, yes. and, yes, we screen. And, by the way, uh, I graduated of Bachelor in Marketing, and year 2019 and then after that um 2019 on the same year um next part na rin ako doon sa aking employee which is i work as a area marketing sa isang com- private company and after two years and it because of the you know the um the needs and wants of our family we need to to be secure pa, di ba? So, um, feeling ko, I think, hindi siya medyo sapat for me and for my family. And that's why, uh, this 2022 lang, recently, in May, is, um, nag-ano na ako as financial advisor din sa isang licensed uh, financial company. Wow. And later, about that. Yes, what a shift, no? Parang talaga, you, I can yes. see that, you two are brave enough to conquer the uh, uh, career na hindi basta-basta pinapasukan ng the people with the same age as yours. Kasi normally, uh, pag first, uh, let's say, first, first few years that you're working, you really want to be in the the usual thing, no? Where people are working 8 to 5, and then, ayun nga, sinasabi na sa corporate vying for the uh, cor- corporate ladder. So kayo, you paved the way by putting yourself in the position or in the career we're in, kayo mismo yung may control. No? So, so gusto ninyo mangyari. You know what you want and you are actually achieving it now. But can I just ask, like for you, Ash, Ash yung na-mention mo nga na uh, you came from uh, marketing, no? Uh, yeah. Marketing yung talagang specialist or uh, uh, what they call this yung skills mo you need to marketing yeah. what do you think are the ano parang uh, what attracts you to where you are right now dun sa career mo ano yung nakita mo na ah I'd rather shift into this kind of ano na lang uh, what they call this um, career instead of me being an 8 to 5 employee Yes, yes, I see. Okay. So, syempre, Miss Rain, di ba? So, um, along the way, while you are working, um, andito yung ano eh, like, um, yung fashion. Yung fashion na hinahanap ko, being an employee. So, parang, hindi naman sa, sa mga employees na hindi ko nahanap doon before. And sabi ko, um, I tell myself, um, why should I look for another job for me that will shoot my capability, diba? And yeah. um, then I saw in a Facebook ads like this post, a, being a financial license advisor, it's like you are being a hero. Alam mo yun? Like you are, uh, you are helping others to be insured and ang maganda, nakaligtas ka ng tao. And at the same time, para yung environment ng work niya is like, ito yung gusto mo environment, environment ng work ko. Like, um, I can travel like while working, work at home. Alam mo yun, yung, you can work anytime like that. 
Yes, oh, yes, Miss Rain. And at the same time, um, syempre, I'm looking for, um, you know, the higher commission or the higher salary because yung sahod ko for being an employee, hindi na rin siya sapat. So, siguro, I need to look for more, which is, dito, nakita ko talaga siya sa new journey ko or dito sa bagong career ko, which is being a licensed financial advisor. Medyo mahirap, pero kakayanin. Yes, syempre, kakayanin lahat, lahat ng bagay. Yes, Miss Rain? Okay. So, uh, yes. <laughs> All right. So, you're saying, Ash, actually, I uh, was able to catch that. Eh, that uh, parang you are actually looking for ways on how to talagang, diba, craft it or align it sa gusto mo. Yes. So, yes that mm -mm -mm -mm. yeah so so far sige i, I do uh, understand where you're coming from no kung bakit ka, you choose to be in that uh, career so how about si Jerison? hi Jerison, how about you yes miss rain so um no, yung pinakang last work ko sa isang construction telecom construction company and then syempre uh, the pandemic really hits as hard all of us Actually, may mga nag um, establishment closure, may mga nawala ng trabaho, nagkasakit and everything. So, um, okay naman dun sa construction company na pinapasukan ko. But, you know, hindi natin alam kung kailan, hanggang kailan, no? hanggang saan yung itatagal ng establishment na kinabibilangan ko. Kasi nga, si, yung pandemic na naranasan natin ngayon, talagang lahat na apektuhan. And, um, Uh, during that time, nag-iisip-isip ako kung saan ako pwedeng maghanap ng trabaho na sa tingin ko eh, naka-align pa din sa kung ano yung gusto ko and at the same time eh, um, sumasapat din and nakocover up yung, yung mga expenses na kailangan sa pang-araw-araw. And yon luckily, I, I found uh, with my um, current work right now na I think it's, it's uh, this is the, the right time na, 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 na i-push through ko yung career na to na somehow hindi nalalayo sa kung ano talaga yung gusto kong ginagawa ko as an HR officer to this current uh, work ko in financial services. Yes. And uh, uh, the, the thing, doon sa ginagawa mo now, Jerson, it's still about the people. No? Yeah, so, exactly. Meron may consistency no, no, in what you do kasi people pa rin yung nagbe-benefit dun sa career na no, pinagagamitan mo ng skills mo. And I like it when young people like you, no, tend to really look at yung impactful career rather than the monetary. Of course, at the end of the day, lagi ko naman sinasabi, we need money. We need money to make sure that uh, our lives is are decent enough, no? We have a decent way of living. But syempre, nandutuon pa rin dapat yung inspired ka sa ginagawa mo because you're doing something very good ba? and impactful na. So, si Ash ba? Yeah, going back to Ash. Ash, yeah. uh, you're, you're ano, ano, uh, very uh, young nung naisip mo yan na parang uh, this is what I want na parang even before ba? I'm just curious lang. No? So, you, you will answer, uh, Joyce and I also will answer this question later on. But for Ash, nung bang maliit ka, di ba? As you are Uh, looking on 5, 10, 20 years from now, ganito si Ash, have you ever think na ma mapupunta ka sa ganitong field? Career? Um, Miss Rain, siguro feeling ko, oo. Kasi alam mo yun, uh, way back before, um, when I was college then, nag-work na din ako. Um, so nag-work ako while studying as a property sales agent. So, nagbebenta na ako before ng house and lot. So, ganyan. And mm -hmm. hanggang sa napunta ako sa employee industry. And, ayun, after that, so, parang, nung nag-work na, mas naramdaman ko talaga siya. Kasi, napunta ako sa employment. And, sabi ko, eh, lalo na yung sabi ko, parang, ang dami na namin siguro kailangan gawin. Kasi, parang, hindi na rin sumasapat yung needs namin. And at the same time, yung skills ko before, alam mo yun, yung work ko dati, hindi naman din nalalayo dun sa naging um, work ko ngayon, which is 
for being a fin licensed financial advisor. Kasi before, ang pagiging marketing strategy pa din, um, na-apply ko dito sa pagiging isang licensed financial advisor. So, na-adapt ko siya. So, alam mo yun, um, na dito ko kasi like, na-feel yung fashion, yung mm -hmm. fashion and work ko dito. Yung parang, gusto ko, andito yung commitment, yeah. yung ganyan. Yung masaya ko habang nagtatrabaho. Yes. Yung, yun yung masarap kasi eh. Like, you are working. Oo, oh, yes, you are working. But, masaya ka pa ba? Yung parang ganun. Ano mo yun? Like, yung sabi ko, I am working now and now I'm so very happy where I am came from now. Pero I'm yes. so very thankful sa before. Kasi, alam mo yun, kundi dahil sa kanila, siguro, hindi ako ganito ngayon ka-build. And thankful mm -hmm. talaga ako sa previous job. Yes. Okay, nice. Nice to know na you're still grateful, no? And you appreciate yung, yung humble beginnings. Yes. Uh, so, well, for the audience, yeah, siguro you are wondering, what is a young urban professional? For those of you na parang first time marinig ito, no? When you say young urban professionals, or ito yung mga yuppie, yuppie actually is a slang term we're in, uh, it's of uh, um, it is more characterized by youth no affluence and business success so ito yung mga yuppies na they tend to be in a different path na nagiging successful sila uh, kaagad no not naman in a, again in not in a monetary but success uh, has a different meanings naman for each and every one of us pwede akin happy lang ako tsaka may peace of mind that's success for me successful na ako no no other people they find success by just doing what really means to them no and for these young urban professionals who went into financial advisory uh career no don papasok na tayo as mentioned by ash kanina na he is now a licensed financial advisor and so on see jerson then no so jerson can you tell us how did you decide no ano yung mga deciding factors mo to shift into human resources, 8 to 5 job, employee, to being a licensed financial financial advisor at a very young age we're in, you really don't have the fixed monthly salary there, di ba? But yeah, you yeah. have a, the potential to earn more is really wow. So, sige, ikaw. Let me know. Uh, Let me know. Yes, oo. Uh, yung pag-iisang financial advisor uh, from, from HR, going to financial advisor. Actually, sabi ko nga, I'm, I want to look for a job na sa tingin ko hindi nalalayo sa kung ano yung hilig ko. At syempre, you're, you're finding your purpose eh. And mm -hmm. um, being an HR, it's uh, all about people. No? You cater their needs, um, their, um, yung mga sentimiento nila, yung mga pangangailangan nila in everything. And likewise, as a financial advisor, I also cater people. Um, na, na, masarap lang sa feeling na you are doing uh, what you love and syempre nakakatulong ka. At the same time, you are helping people. And at the same time, you're also achieving your dream. Yun na nakakatuwa sa profession namin ngayon. Na um, masarap tumulong, lalo na sa mga... Um, marginalized community and you are spreading and advocating financial literacy kasi nga yun yung pinakang pangangailangan nila lalo sa area nila and I, I really love that doing that kind of um, job na tingin ko inakakatulong ako and I think it's more helpful and at the same time you are helping and achieving also my dream helping my family too Yes, yeah, so parang you're doing both, no? Parang helping and then you're also satisfying the needs of your family, your loved ones. How about si Ash? Ash? Ayun, Miss Ray. Um, um, nung time na yun, syempre, nung, ayan, um, before kasi, tulad ng sabi ko kanina, na I came from Real Properties Agent. Nagditinda ko dati ng bahay, no? Pa, ganyan. So, uh, hindi na rin bago sa akin. Like, before, I'm just helping other people na then to find their affordable ha home, di ba? So, I could uh, advise them na instead na mag-mahupa, why not mag-rent to own na lang sila? Like, ganyan, yung parang 
kasi galing din ako dati bilang renter. So, gusto ko naman iparara sa kanila na kaya nyo din mag-avail ng sarili nyong bahay, like gano'n. And sabi ko, wrong with that, parang ang galing no, tumutulong, tumutulong na din ako sa kanila. So sabi ko, ah okay, dito sa ngayon sa trabaho ko ngayon, parang hindi siya nang iba. Like I'm also helping them na magkaroon ng financial literacy, which is talagang napaka magandang bagay for them na ma-educate, ma-educate parang mas bongga, di ba? Para mas bongga din ang future. And okay. yes, and syempre, while helping other peoples, is for me, achievement yon Achievement yon for me na pag nakatulungan ko sila, syempre, talagang matutuwa ka kasi ang sarap sa feeling na makakatulong ka sa ibang tao. So, nandun na tayo sa part na uh, kumikita din tayo. Pero at the same time, tulungan eh. Kumikita tayo and at the same time, natutulungan din natin sila. That's why, um, that's why, ayun, Miss Ray. Yes, good. Uh, uh, I like yung pagkakasabi mo na you are very consistent with the word na you want to help. Tulong, di ba? Yes. And uh, it's uh, no, no, something na very admirable talaga sa mga tao na at a young age, they really want to reach out to other people. And yung sinabanggit mo na you are helping at first, no, you are selling condos, properties, you know, yes. properties and now you venture into another important or essential thing that a human being needs, no? Kasi una, shelter ka. Now, it's security. So, you're serving the both. Shelter and security. And that's really a good uh, career that I can say. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, we will go for a short break. No? Siyempre, we need to thank our sponsors. Uh, but before that, of course, I would like to say hi and hello to all the viewers out there. Please, for those who are uh, friends of Ash and uh, Jerison, no, they're commenting in the Facebook also here in the new channel. Uh, continue to share no, and like and whatever. Call out your friends and tell them that Ash Arado and Jerison Rantugan are here in the new channel here at the Grow with the Flow. So we will be back after a few commercial breaks. Thank you.
Okay, welcome back again here at the Grow with the Flow in TNC, the new channel. So we would like to, uh, again, thank our sponsor. But before that, we would like to uh, reiterate what the new channel is all about. The new channel is an online alternative new media platform of online shows for people on the go. Please watch all our shows as seen on screen. Imagine having your own show, your own playlist, your own content, but we made it easier for you. TNC aims to transform the lives of our viewers through engaging, authentic, and original content. Our channel is a responsible global 24-7 platform that showcases Filipino talent, global influencers, cultural intelligence, and ingenuity. So you can promote your show by saying the title of the time slot, Go With The Flow. And of course, we would like to thank again our sponsor. For those who are interested to sponsor our show, please email now at thenewchannel.com or send us a direct message. So enjoy these life-changing shows because we made them for you. Okay, so now let's welcome once again my two wonderful guest, Jerson Rantugan and Dennis Arado. Hi! I miss you. So, I really love the way you I know, I know, you uh, shared with us, all the audience here at Grow With The Flow, about your journey nyo, or the background of your career. Again, this uh, uh, episode is all about having the sense of purpose, no? Why, why you really decided to accomplish these careers or the roles that you're playing as licensed financial advisor is something really, uh, I can say, uh, extraordinary. Not everyone has or very brave enough to do that. Because, diba, ano tayo eh? you, we are always, we want to be in our comfort zone. Ayaw natin masyadong nahirapan, especially in careers, di ba? Sa mga yeah. respective jobs natin. Gusto nga natin, nakaupo lang tayo and then we're getting monthly salary, you know? But you, the two of you, decided na, you know, we have to break this barrier. I know what I want and I will pursue with it. So now, can I just ask you about your challenges and obstacles in shifting from the normal career path to the one that you have right now. Let me start with Jerson. Mga challenges to, and obstacles. Yeah. The challenges and, and obstacles. Bago ko mag-shift ng career, yun nga, uh, kasi I'm also a breadwinner of the family and I always look after the benefit of my family, of course. So sila lagi yung pinakang main core ko why I'm working so hard. And bakit ako nag, nagpapagal magtrabaho talaga ng ng todo-todo dahil sa kanila yon And sabi ko nga, um, magtitake risk ako. Kailangan ko magtitake risk ng isang bagay na sa training ko ay ang magdudulot nito, hindi lang ako, kundi ang pamilya ko. So, at that time na magde-decide ako na mag-shift ng career ko into where I am right now, uh, wala akong alinlangan kasi ano eh, uh, ano rin akong tao eh, uh, uh, risk taker din akong tao. So gusto ko yung talagang sinusubukan yung mga bagay na tingin ko eh makakatulong sa akin at saka sa pamilya ko. So, um, unang-una syempre, wala kang pinakang fixed na income dito eh. That's why um, yun yung pinakang unang uh, um, iniisip ko din bago ko mag-shift mag, mag ng career. Pero yun nga, um, sabi ko hindi, hindi, pwedeng ma, hindi ko pwedeng hindi iwanan lang to at iwasan to nang hindi ko sinusubukan. So, okay. um, at syempre, andun pa din ako doon sa gusto ko yung ginagawa ko. That's why, walang, 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 alam mo yun, wala nang kung anong iniisip-isip pa, kundi para sa pamilya, ilalaban ko to and ipupush ko yung profession na to para sa kanila. Mm -hmm. So, yun yung motivation mo, no? To keep on doing that thing that you want, no? In spite yes. of all the challenges and obstacles, which is really a, uh, para I can say na, uh, ano no, para resilient yung pagkatao mo because of yeah. that. Yeah, and I just want to add, Atiring, ah, uh, yung ano nga, um, yung pagsik ko ng karir nga. Since I already know yung yung kung bakit may background na din ako eh, kung ano yung magpapasukin ko eh, and 
uh, the the industry that I'm going to take is something na very tabu pag-usapan sa community. That's why um isa din sa purpose ko is we want to change the mindset of the people. Kung ano yung tingin nila sa yung yung bang parang sa like yun nga sa 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 insurance industry. So gusto namin baguhin yung yung mindset nila na eto yung purpose ng ng pagkakaroon ng ng security, eto yung pagkakaroon ng ng um ng preparation, ng protection and everything. So very tabi pong usapan sa community natin and yun yung isa sa bagay na um nag nagdrive din sa akin bukod sa pamilya ko na we want to educate people and we want to change their mindset about um the insurance protection. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's good, no? So so far, how are you ano right now when it comes to that? But feeling mo ba na, na reach mo naman yung goal mo na yon right now? Yeah. Okay. Eventually, uh, <clears throat> actually sabi ko nga mas mas ano ko nga yung market ng mga uh, yung marginalized community. Ma- gustong-gusto kong um, magturo ng ng financial education sa kanila kasi sila yung sa tingin ko yung mga taong um tingin ko ikulang pa at hindi naaarok ng ating um, ng ating Wow, na no, na naaarok talaga. Yeah. <laughs> Oo, so sabi nga nila, 'di ba, reach the unreachable. That's why yes, yes, um yes. kahit anong layo pa yan, kahit ilang bundok pa yan, that's true ha. Yung mga yung mga dinadaanan ko din na area kapag ako nag nag-field um I don't mind the road, the the putek na dinadaanan namin yung yung ma- actually yung kasi sa area ko nga talaga syempre antipolo no um yeah. oh, yeah. target yung mga malalayong lugar na yan kasi nga gusto kong matuto sila kung paano magmanage and magkaroon ng 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 protection so i don't mind yung mga barriers na yan basta may abot ko lang kung ano yung nais mong iparating sa kanila which is the financial education okay good how about si thank you Jerson for sharing that and how about si Ash Ash what can you say about <laughs> The, the role you have now. Ayun. Miss Rain, ayan. Um, Siyempre, when it comes to the topic, talagang mahirap. Like yung sinabi ni Sir Gerson a while ago, almost the same din naman kami. Like, medyo nakakarelate ako sa kanya eh. Kasi yung akin, like, almost the same like that. Kasi, alam mo yun, yung, ang hirap niya, hindi siya yung, hindi siya yung madaling, uh, hindi yung madaling mag-let go. Kasi, being an employee, monthly may makukuha kang compensation, di ba? And every time naman, every month, like, okay, may naabangan akong sahod, so hindi mat- mahirap. But pag nag-shift ka sa career ngayon, being a professional, um, dito sa industry namin, wala kasi fixed income. So talagang, it depends on how you work, di ba? So kung gaano ka kasipag, kadeterminasyon sa professional mo or sa work mo, doon, depende kung ga- gano'n kalaki yung kikitain mo din. So, mahirap. Mahirap siya, pero pero sabi nga nila, walang, mga, walang bagay na mahirap kung hindi mo pagsusubukan or hindi mo pagtsatsagaan. Lahat naman, di ba, sabi nila, they always say lahat ng bagay na pag-aaralan. So, andun ako sa point na yun na um, uh, go lang ako ng go kasi risk taker din akong tao. So sabi ko, what if, ganito, what if, like that. So, I need to risk. I need to try. Kasi, if not, I don't try, hindi ko malalaman ang resulta. This, diba? So, and then, um, so ayun na nga. And then, eto na. So, syempre, for being uh, financial advisor, ang pinaka main goal ko talaga is yung is magkaroon ng purpose. So dito, uh, mas nakakatulong ako sa ibang tao. Kahit na gano'n pa kahirap yung work ko ngayon, thankful ako. Thankful ako kasi um, kahit sobrang hirap niya, nakakatulong ako sa ibang tao. And to all youth na na-inform ko on how to have personal finance, di ba? To educate them also. By the way, kasi um, I am a youth president sa location namin. So, wow. I educate them. Yes, oo. Alam mo yon parang ang sarap pala sa feeling kahit na ganito ako, na kahit pa paano may knowledge ako regarding this, na share ko sa kanila. So, lahat ng hirap, pagod, fade off. Kasi, alam mo yon um, ang sarap sa pakiramdam na 
uh, na-hit mo yung mga goals mo sa buhay and yung purpose mo and helping them at syempre yung pamilya mo na makapag-provide ka kasi Miss Rain um, ano din ako eh breadwinner din ako sa family that's yeah. why I to keep working working while I'm younger talaga so ako yung tao na I don't want to waste my time anymore like um, if there's an opportunity there's a chance I will grab it talaga and of course ob- obstacles are here but I am facing it it's hard it's hard yes i know but i believe in myself that i can do it all yes miss wow. ray ang ganda naman no natatanda din naman ng pagka-deliver mo no ay no natulad ng na totoo naman in this life hindi naman pwedeng wala talaga challenges and walang obstacles it's really part of our day to day no na living yan and uh, what is nice about you and Sirson you are really uh, open to it no and uh, you don't parang seems to very anxious na no? oh, ayan ma parang mas feel niyo pa nga yata yung na uh, may mga challenges no and that makes you really so special yeah. oh yeah love to kayo no. Mas maganda yung, alam mo yun, na to challenge ka. Para alam mo, yeah. yeah, di ba? <laughs> Kaya, the tama naman eh. niya. Spices, And, kumbaga. Yes, mm. tama. And sure, so, uh, Ash, it's for me, ah, since I'm older than the two of you naman, it's obvious. Uh, but the the more na ma-experience niya yan, <laughs> at the early, early age, the better you become the best version of yourself. No? Kasi you experience, it will never... You cannot get it anywhere. You cannot buy it. No, you really need to earn it. Yes. Yeah. Yung experience. Okay. So can you uh wait? wait. Uh, I need to of course give some ano then no, acknowledgement dito sa ating mga na nanunuod ngayon <laughs> and uh, shout out sa mo. Oh, ayan. You have so many friends. Uh, Jason and uh, Ash. Ayan si uh, Jackie Diagno- Dignos. So proud. To the both of you, Ash Arado and Jerson Rantugan. And then, of course, ayan, my mom is watching. Hello. <laughs> and then, <laughs> hello, Evangeline Rodrigo. And then, si Ch- Giselle Antaso is also, I think, your friend, no? Uh, watching. And Princess is also watching. Yon. So, how about you? Do you have any friends who you would like to um, give them a shout out for being here with you virtually? Mm-hmm. Ash, si yeah. Ash. Okay, again, first of all, I would like to thanks to my, uh, I would shout out to Ma'am Giselle Hilario. Ayan, Hello, shout out Giselle, to yeah. Yes, and yung kanina ko pang friend dyan, na pa ni Chad sa akin. <laughs> shout out dyan kay Krisha L. Ann Langis and kay Nick Martinez and uh, shout out din kay Joy Sulanda and many more, ang dami nila. Nanonood ngayon, Miss Ray. Thank you so much for viewing us. Yes. Thank you everyone for uh, watching Jerson and uh, or Ash. You can continue to share and uh, comment down below. And then also, yeah, keep on reacting to this uh, show, no? Of uh, this episode specifically. How about Jerson? Jerson, do you have anyone? Or, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you? <laughs> Oo, yung mga ka-teammate ko sa 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 unit namin and sa sales team. <clears throat> so they are watching right now and also uh, yung mga kaamigas natin sa barangay, mga barangay officials, they are also watching. Oh, hello. Hello, hello po. Ayun, thank you for supporting Jason. So, uh, ayun, any other ano pa na mga pa-shout out? your ano kasi millennials yun yun eh sa inyo na una yung <laughs> nauso yung shout out di ba so there so <laughs> we now go to the winning moments di ba kasi this is the time na parang <laughs> you're reaping the success the fruits of your labor ika nga si Jerson nakikita ko ang dami niyang awards and ang dami niya ring clients no so meaning maraming nagtitiwala din na rin sa inyo. And then your network, nag-grow na rin siya, no? The people, or the, the, the clients that you are really helping, hindi na iilan lang yan, ang dami na. So can you share with us yung mga winning moments nyo? And how did you, ano ba, may strategy pa kayo para, or yung, siguro, I, I would start by yung, ano ba yung usual na ginagawa ninyo to win a client? 
Yeah, okay. Jerry Chan. Okay, so to win the client, actually, um, mas effective ako in in terms of ano eh, in terms of um, ayan, so communi- communicating people and telling the story about um how uh, how having insurance protection is significant to all of us lalo lalo na sa mga ayan sa mga breadwinner na kagaya ko and um actually the first thing na dapat i-establish mo sa client is of course the trust i i have clients na uh, miss rain na nakuha ko lang in cold market and then napakasarap sa feeling na they really trust you mm-hmm. when it comes to their hard earned money because hard earned money yung pinag-uusapan dito eh True. so unang-una yung trust yung kukunin mo sa kanila and by that uh, you, you already established the foundation which is the trust then everything will follow na so um may clients um <clears throat> sa isang pamilya kliyente <coughs> sa sa pamilya na yon no at um kinukuwento ng isa actually kapag kasi gusto kong sa sa pamilya hindi lang isa yung ano eh yung pinepresentan ko eh gusto ko kung kung kaya naman na lahat sila doon sa household na yon eh papaliwanag papaliwanagan ko in terms of the importance of insurance protection so um with that natutuwa sila and napakasarap yung moment na may mga aha moment kasi yung mga kliyente ko eh. So, ibig sabihin lang, they, they learning, no? And, kapag naririnig ko na yung sa kanila at nakikita ko yung sa kanila, so, andyan na na yung moment na eto na yung, ano, yung isang goal ko na, na ma-educate sila and, and ma-feel nila na napaka-importante ng, ng, ng protection sa bawat isa. Hindi lang sa, sa breadwinner, kundi sa buong pamilya kung, kung kaya naman. So, yun yung napakasarap Uh, sa, 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 sa feeling na may mga aha moment yung mga kliyente na, ah, okay, dapat pala dati pa ako kumuha, dapat pala um, sinecure ko na yung taong ganito in everything. So, may mga aha moment sila and that's what keeps me going sa pagka-client ko na napakarami pang um, kailangan ng kaalaman pagdating sa uh, financial management. Kasi ang pagkakaroon ng financial yung masasabi mo talaga na you are already financial literate is of course, eh, you have to first establish your foundation. What is that foundation? Of course, is having protection. So, yun yung unang-una na dapat uh, tinuturo natin sa ating mga client. And nakakatuwa na kapag uh, may natiwala sa'yo na isang tao na i-share din niya sa buong pamilya niya, nagre-ripple effect na yan. Yeah. And, yeah. And why 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 does that happen is because they trusted you. So from Luzon Visayas to Mindanao, yun yun na yung kinikinig kong client right now. And um, kahit anong layo, kahit anong milya pa yan, ilang dagat pa yan, since we are already in um, digital world, no? Yes, Kaya natin yes. makipag-meet online, no? And we can educate also through, through online. Eh wala nang kumbaga ano na yun eh um, hindi na natin naiisip yung mga ganung barrier and kung talagang gusto mo makatulong sa kapwa mo then do do everything yes para lang makatulong sa kanila tama tama kumbaga para you don't have any uh, barriers at all no pati yeah. yung digital uh, Uh, distraction na yan na pwedeng mangyari yes. sa iyo like, na meet you because of this especially in, during pandemic no so lahat yun na surpass mo no yeah. how about you ash ano yung mga winning moments na hindi, hindi mo makakalimutan na oh, i made the right decision na nandito ako ngayon sa pagiging financial advisor ano may serene ayan yung pinaka winning moment ko um before kasi um i'm planning before na mag-enter ako in this kind of professional, uh, plan ko talaga mag-OFW. Yun yung pinaka- oh. Oh. Before ako mapunta dito, may, sabi ko, uh, mag-quit ako sa employment, but I'm going to OFW. But, naisip ko bigla, 
pag nasa ibang bansa ako, hindi ko makakasama yung parents ko, yung family ko. So medyo malulungkot ako. Eh kasi medyo malungkotin din ako ang tao, di ba? Pero yeah. alam mo naman, minsan behind the smiles, meron tayong mga problema. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pero we need to keep, alam mo yun? <laughs> so, okay. oh, oh. so <laughs> kaya sabi ko, why not I look for a new job, which is na, andito lang ako, mag-stay lang ako sa Pinas para pakasama ko yung family ko, which is I found um, Sun Life. Ayan. Nakita ko siya for being a licensed financial advisor and natuwa ako. Sabi ko, wow! Um, parang I made the best uh, decision in my life na maging isang financial advisor kasi hindi lang family yung naka- natutulungan ko. At the same time, is yung people na nakapaligid sa akin na na-educate ko sila, di ba? Kasi before naman, wala naman akong ganitong, uh, I'm not really knowledgeable when it comes to financial literacy. Wala yeah. talaga akong masyadong knowledge with that. So, lately ko lang din naman na-absorb yan. Then, ayun, along the way. So, ang nangyari, edi, ayan, okay na, nandito na ako sa pagiging FA. In short, FA, di ba? So, yeah. sabi ko, wow, sobrang thankful talaga po ako kasi, kasama ko yung family ko, which is ito yung hinahanap ko. Um, gusto ko dito lang sila or dito lang ako. At the same time, um, I can work on my own time. And yeah. alam mo yun, na-enjoy ko yung life while mm-hmm. I'm younger, di ba? So sabi ko yung sarili ko, I need to enjoy my life now. Kaya sabi ko, um, this work is so very talaga sakto for me. And mm-hmm. at the same time, Natutuwa ako kasi yung mga friend ko, and one time kasi, I have a client na stranger din, hindi ko siya talaga kilala. And someone, ano, nag-chat siya, like nag-text pala, and sabi niya, um, quote daw kami, top daw kami, ganyan. So, ko, oh my God, baka niya ka nakilala or something gano. And then, totoo, yung sabi ni Sir Gerson, importante talaga ang mag-build tayo ng trust sa isang tao because trust, hindi yan basta-basta in-earn eh. Diba? Mahirap yes. siya. Mahirap talaga siyang i-earn sa isang tao. We need to invest in trust, diba? So, ayun na. And I'm so very happy na pinagkatiwalaan niya ako. And sobra ko na siya kasi hindi lang isang tao yung insured niya. Hindi, kundi yung tatlong anak niya. Sabi ko, oh my God, thank you so much po talaga for trusting me. So, syempre, along the way, pinaliwana po sa nila what is the importance of keeping money. Alam mo yon um uh, keeping money on the right foot like ganito and kung paano sila mas secure kasi nakakatuwa siya kasi meron siyang knowledge when it comes to insurance din so parang gusto niya na saan ko ba dapat ilagay yung tama or saan ko ba dapat mas ilagay yung hard earned money ko which is sabi ko yes po tama po yan so this one is one of the best na pwede yung paglagyan talaga ng hard earned money Diba? So, alam mo, yung natutuwa ako, gusto kasi ma-feel din nila yung financial freedom na nararanasan ko ngayon. Yes. Kasi iba na meron kang financial freedom. So, kumbaga, at the age of, kasi ngayon, 25 years old pa lang ako, sobrang sarap na meron kang financial freedom. Talaga. Kaya, and not, sobrang, only, ano, not only your financial freedom, your time, no? Time is yeah. more important for oh. me. Diba? Yes. You can work oh. in any, anywhere. And anytime yes. you want to. So that yes. is something that for me is uh, parang an irreplaceable. Okay, yes. so uh, yeah. uh, can you, ano, can you, before we, uh, ang bilis ng time, ano, before we wrap up the show, I just want to, of course, uh, Brad Joyson and Ash, uh, maraming taong tumulong sa inyo for you to be in where you are right now. Again, sabi ko nga, hindi pa man siya yung final destination nyo, but you are already doing or crafting your name in that industry, no? And that's something to be thankful for. So, can you uh, acknowledge some people na talagang nagbigay sa inyo ng tingin a little push, no? Sige. Si Ash muna and then si Jerison. Very short lang na acknowledgement. Ayan. Um, first of all, syempre yung family ko, Ayan, kasi without them, talagang hindi ko mapupush yung sarili ko na uh, to work more, to do more. So, sa impression ko sila. And most specially kasi, this person talaga is yung tumulong sa akin, na nag-build up sa akin, um, kung paano ba 
Um, Siyempre, itong person na ito ay si Ma'am Giselle Hilario. Siya po yung aking unit manager so dito sa uh, Sun Life. So, sobrang thankful ako sa kanya na lagi niyong binibuilt na um, you can do that, you can be better, you can be more than that. So, sabi ko, ang lakas ng trust niya sa akin, yung tiwala niya sa akin. So, sabi ko sa sarili ko, kung pinagkakatiwalaan ako ng ibang tao, why not na pagkatiwalaan ko rin ang sarili ko, di ba? Kasi tayo rin naman ang tutulong sa sarili natin. Kaya ayun, sabi ko, kaya I keep on working, dreaming, achieving my goal. And through her, sobrang thankful ako kasi siya ang isa sa talaga nakakapag-push sa akin na makapag-work and to achieve medallions. At in, in a short wow, period. medallions. Uh, Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you so much. Most of the ano kasi, yung mga rookie advisor, alam mo yun, um, in just three months, actually two months, sabi ko, na, na, natuwa siya sa akin. Like, she's so proud of me. Kasi in just a short of time, um, awarded ako as medallion. So, with that, I'm so very thankful. Yes, thank you so much, Ma'am Chi. Yes. So, that's a very good acknowledgement. Uh, Ash, how about Jerson? Ayan, unang-una kay, kay God na for giving provision na uh, dali na ako sa ganong profession. Pangalawa sa family ko na hindi ako hinadlangan para uh, tahakin kung ano yung path ko ngayon and very supportive sa akin kung ano yung mga endeavor na sinusubukan ko. And of course, actually same kami ni Sir Ash ng unit. So um, gusto kong pasalamatan yung ka-teammate din namin Um, sa sa unit namin sa Golden Vermilion Unit thankful ako kasi very supportive ang, ang team at ang mga members nito and syempre kay 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 UM eto etong dalawang taong to sila ang dahilan kung bakit nandito ako sa kung ano ako ngayon and sila yung push sa akin para talagang uh, gawin yung mga bagay na uh, kumbaga kinakatakutan ko and sila yung sila yung mga taong talagang nag-push through sa akin Uh, sa aking unit manager na si Giselle Hilario, thank you so much UM for always acknowledging our effort. Um, kapartner niya yan si, si Rona Lobarbio na dalawa sila na nag-push sa akin for accepting my flaws, my weakness and strength. Lagi sila nakaagapay. So very thankful ako sa dalawang taong ito dahil kung hindi dahil sa kanila din, eh, wala ako dito sa kung anong meron ako. And wala ako sa brighter life na naranasan ko ngayon. Okay. So, thank you. Thank you, uh, Jerson and Ash, for that very nice conversation and the, the sharing of your experience, no? especially on how you made this sense of purpose in your career. And, uh, yeah, uh, and uh, before we close this, I have a uh, fire rapid uh, ano lang, uh, questions. Lang. Morning or evening? Morning. Oh, Evening. Okay. okay, chocolate chips. Chocolate, chocolate chips. 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 Oh, okay. Beach or mountain? Beach. 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 How about you? Beach. I'm a beach person. So with that, thank you so much. Thank you for a one-hour conversation with you. And thank I you hope so you guys much. enjoyed this episode of ours in this uh How, having a sense of purpose with the young urban professionals, Mr. Jerson Rantugan and Mr. Dennis Ash Arado. So yes. again, thank you very much for watching Grow with the Flow and we'll see you again for our next episode on uh, this, the new channel. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. much. Salamat. Bye. Thank you. Bye.